Hello, welcome to my channel, Grow Joyfully. In this series, I'm going to share my wholesome experience in uh, doing aerobic composting at home in large terracotta pots. I've been using these pots for the last six years and batch after batch, I've been able to harvest the black gold consistently. In this video, I'm going to explain how I fill a large terracotta pot at one shot with greens and browns. I'm going to show you the process of getting started. We require some compost from the previous cycle that's called as a starter. Then we require veggie waste from our kitchen. They are called greens and we require browns in the form of wood shreddings, dry leaves, etc. And of course we need a container which has got holes. Terracotta is preferred because moisture management is very easy with terracotta. Now I am showing you my container. It's a big one. If you don't get a big one, even a small pot is enough. Even a plastic bucket is enough. What is important is that it should be of the size that is easy for you to handle. and. It should have holes. So please zoom in on the container. Show the container. And there are a few holes on the sides. You need to put a couple of holes at the bottom as well. And when you cover it, you need to cover it again you can cover it with a cotton piece of cloth, a jute cloth, tie it around the neck or you can have a lid. You can have a container as I am having now. If you have a lid or container, please ensure that they too have holes. In order to get started with a batch, you require three things. One is what we call as the starter. This is nothing but a handful of composed from the previous batch. If you are starting fresh, you may buy it from a nursery or get it gifted from a friend who does composting. So you require one or two handfuls. This contains a lot of beneficial bacteria and this will kick start the composting process. This is a one time process, we put it only once. Next you have the kitchen waste, there you can see I buy a lot of veggie waste, I get lot of veggie waste from a nearby shop so I cut them into small pieces like this since I'm doing on a large scale and I'm experienced these pieces are a little large but you may cut them into smaller pieces with scissors or you can leave them like this also you will see that composting happens a little slowly but that's okay so this consists of veggie waste this can contain fruit waste this can contain coffee grounds, tea grounds, eggshell powder, all these things you can have. But no cooked food and anything plastic is there. Please remove. A lot of greens, you can see. So this comes, this comes free from our kitchen. This is our greens. Then you require browns. Browns can be in the form of cardboard or dry leaves. I always prefer dry leaves. You can see that these are the Ashoka leaves which I get from a nearby apartment complex. If possible you crush them but since I do on a large scale and they are actually dry I don't crush them as well. What I do is every week I get a lot of leaves and I collect them in a big bag like this. I would request you to see this. This is quite easy to do so. You can collect the leaves, you can keep them in a corner where they remain dry and uh, whenever you are doing aerobic composting, you can use them. Can you zoom on the leaves and uh, show it? So, this is, so you can use any kind of leaves or waste that are available. I use mango leaves from my garden, I use jackfruit leaves, I use ashoka leaves, sometimes I get honge leaves, honge flowers, I use them. I don't use uh, cardboard at all because I get leaves in plenty. No need to crush them also, if possible if you have the time you crush, otherwise they are quite dry and they will disintegrate. 
Now I am going to show how I start a new batch. This is composed from the previous batch. We call this as starter. In a 20 litre container it is enough if you put one handful. This contains a lot of microorganisms and it will kick start the composting process. It is a one time affair for one batch. Since my container is big, I am going to put a little more. Adding the starter is a one time process. Now I am going to demonstrate how to add greens and browns. I simply follow the 3 is to 1 policy. It works very well for me. So you don't require a measuring equipment. I take one handful of the greens and now I simply take three handfuls of the browns. I continue the layering, I simply take one handful or two handfuls I should say of uh, the greens and I always follow the 3 is to 1. So even if there are the small twigs like this, I don't bother much because they provide aeration so I don't really remove them. So one. and three. I just spread it, press it so that I have more space here. As you can see now, I have continued the layering, pressed hard, following the one green, three browns. It's almost 95% it has reached the neck. Now what I do is, I add some more leaves as much as possible, maybe 2 inches. This extra brown will prevent rats from entering in. The smell is reduced. And we won't have food fly problem as well. And you can see, I have kept a container at the bottom in order to drain the excess water. Now all I do is cover it and keep it in a corner in shade. I am doing this on February 8th to 2020 and I will open this and see it after 3 or 4 days only. Please watch my next video. I will be giving the mix a thorough stir after a few days of getting started. Thanks for watching my videos. Have a great day.